Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Makeup Moo, and I'm going to show you guys how to DIY your own white marble floors on top of carpet. I got this idea from Amber Show. I love me some Amber because honey be DIYing down, okay? But I got the idea from her and I tried doing this already on top of this carpet and honey, let me tell you something. <laughs> It was a hot mess. I had to rip it up and start over. So when Amber did it, she did it on top of hardwood floors. But I'm going to show you guys how to do it on top of carpet. Okay. So we're going to pretty much use the same products that Amber used. So I'm actually going to be using the Traffic Master Towels. And I have... Hold on. So I have the... Let me move back. 12 by 12 towels as well as the 12 by 24 towels. Let me actually pull one of those out the box and show you guys. So this is the 12 by 24 towel. So you pretty much need these two. Um, I think in Amber video she used only the 12 by 12, but I'm using both of these so that that way the lines on the ground can look like boop, boop, you know what I mean? Like this, like I don't want the lines to like line up and that's why I messed up at the first time too. So, boom, get the towels, whatever towel you want. Um, you're definitely going to want to do white poster boards. Black poster board is okay too. I'm going to put the black poster boards by the door because I have one of those like black door stopper thingies. And just in case I have like a little creak, you won't see it because the black will match the black, you know. Um, you can use duct tape to tape your poster boards together, but I'm actually going to use the Crystal Clear Gorilla Tape. This is the truth, honey, okay? And you might have to cut some tiles um, to kind of fit your wall accordingly. I did buy these, like, heavy-duty scissors, but I don't really like them. So, I actually recommend getting just, a um, like, a box cutter. And what you're going to do when you use the box cutter is just kind of, like, draw a nice sharp line and then break the tiles together. Um, but the key ingredient to all of this, to make all of this stick on top of the carpet, is going to be double-sided carpet tape. Okay, I didn't even know this existed. But double-sided carpet tape is what's going to be your best friend. So, you know, if you're going to be doing this project, you want to make sure that... Sorry, I'm trying to get in frame. But you want to make sure, like, your floor looks immaculate, honey. So, um, a really good idea is to kind of lay some of the tiles out. Um, to kind of see how it would look before you paste it down because that way that would um, avoid some of the mistakes. But I'm going to show you guys this ugly ass manly looking carpet in my makeup studio that got to go. And we're going to transform honey into this white marble, okay, giving you luxurious. So this is the carpet that I'm going to be replacing. And I really want to transform it into this nice pretty white marble which matches really good with this gray um wall panel and my ice gray walls but yeah this carpet got to go and as you can see i have really weird corners so those two corners are cool please excuse the mess because i messed up but you see that corner there i'm gonna have to measure it so oh yeah you guys also want to make sure you get like a <sighs> sorry get a ruler okay get a ruler and then this is going to be I'm all over the place. This is going to be this is going to be the most troubling part trying to figure out how to get the right measurements to cut the tile properly, but we won't figure it out sis. So yeah, if you have kind of uneven walls like I do, you might want to get a ruler because you might have to do some measurements and get it should popping. So let me show you guys step by step on what to do. Okay, so first things first, we're going to use this carpet tape. The brand I'm using is Sure Tape. Um, and this is indoor, outdoor carpet tape. The purpose of it is to hold like rugs and mats in place, but we're going to use it to hold the poster boards in place. So it's really easy to use. Um, we just want to stick that down in the corner. Okay, wait, I fucked up. So y'all, this tape is like really sticky. So I'm just gonna put it uh, just one side down first. Um, and then we're gonna peel the top part before we put the poster down. So just like kind of line it up against the wall. 
like the base of the wall and then It doesn't really matter how long you do it because you want to want to make sure you put it around the whole base of your wall. So I'm going to do that side as well as this side because we're going to put our poster boards down. So now that one part of the tape is down, we're just going to take this white piece off and then it's basically gonna expose the other, oops, the other side of the tape. This broke off, wait. It's real sticky, so it just exposes the other side of the tape for the poster board to pretty much grasp onto. And I'm gonna take this side off first. So now you wanna take your white poster board and make sure you have the laminate side upward, okay? The paper side, the side where the sticker, where you pay for the little barcode thing, you wanna make sure that side is on the actual floor. So you just wanna put it as close to the wall as possible. And honestly, these boards don't even be cut right, so you might have like a little space in between the floor and the wall but just get it as close as you can and then boom so that's one down so now I'm gonna put another poster board down and remember to have the laminate side up and the paper side down and I'm just gonna put it um, right next to the other one don't overlap okay do not overlap because if you overlap it'll kind of leave um, like an air bubble type of gap don't overlap and it's okay if you have a little bit of space in between so I'm gonna put one there I'm gonna put a piece of board there and then in the middle of the floor you don't really have to worry about putting more carpet tape you really just want to make sure you put the carpet tape um, on the perimeter of your room so I'm just gonna lay basically four boards down for now okay then you want to take the clear um, gorilla tape or duct tape and then you basically want to tape um, the boards like the corner of the boards together Okay, so I actually want you guys to scratch what I said in the beginning because I just realized the 12 by 12 square doesn't look as white as the 12 by 24 square. So I'm actually going to put these drums right back in the box and take them back. But I am going to use one as a reference to basically carve out one of the 12 by 24s into two 12 by 12s, if that makes sense. So basically, I am going to need my box cutter um, or you can use the heavy duty scissors I just feel like you might mess up by doing that but I'm just going to place the 12 by 12 tile on top of the 12 by 24 tile and basically slice it sort of and then break it so you see how I lined that up and then I'm just going to take my box cutter and slowly Cut her down the middle. Excuse my nails. Okay, I'm going to the nail salon tomorrow. Don't come for me in the comment section. And then. Break it apart. And then. Sorry guys, now I have a 12 by 12 square. So the part where I cut, I'm gonna put against the wall. Because, so that way when I line up the other tiles together, it's like a perfect edge. And, let's see. So, basically, let me move this out of the way. 
So I, I used the um, box cutter to cut this end. So that means I'm going to put this end up against the wall. This is why I say use the laminate side up just in case you sit the um, tile down and it's not right. You can easily pick it back up. And then boom, one tile down. And you might have like a little gap, but I think it's it's okay. Like nobody's going to be all looking in the corner of your floor. And if they all grew, back it up. So we'll put that down and then I now have a 12 by 24. I'm going to peel the back of her off and then make sure you line it up all the way and paste her down. And so I'm only going to use the 12 by 12 like on every other row closest to this wall only, okay? So now when I add the tiles, um, I put a 12 by 12, 12 by 24. And then going down, I'm going to keep doing 12 by 24. When I get to this row, I'm going to do... 12 by 24 all the way down but then when I get to the next row I'm going to do another I'm going to do the other half that I cut out first by the wall and then 12 by 24 all the way down so basically I'm going to show you once I pretty much do it okay so I ran out of the clear Gorilla tape so I just used regular duct tape which is fine so basically, if you didn't understand how I said to place the tiles at first, this is what it should look like. So this is basically four tiles. So when I cut the 12 by 24 in half, I put one in the corner and then one whole 12 by 24 tile. Then I put one 12 by 24 tile under that. And then the other half, which is technically a 12 by 12, and then 12 by 24 next to it. So that way... The tiles will look like, the lines will be like in a T-shape. So it just looks a little bit more professional. So then basically what I would do is just keep adding tiles like bloop. Well, I would actually flip this so that it kind of matches up. Once I take the, the paper off, it'll match up with these lines. Once I take the paper off, it'll match up with these lines here you see that boom basically like a little puzzle and then just keep going around this looks so good guys okay y'all so i'm pretty much almost done but i'm to the edge of the wall where i do have to do some adjustment to the tiles so basically this is where the ruler and the heavy duty scissors come in place so basically this tile is just a little bit too long to fit. Let me show you. Um, this end here, and then see how that kind of goes into the wall. So basically, I had to use the ruler to basically mark out a line here. You probably can't see it. Um, I think you can. Be yeah, it, mark out a line here, and then I'm just gonna take the heavy duty scissors and just take my time to cut across. Um, again, these scissors are like swirly i think they have ones that are more straight but you know if you get these just basically take your time cutting um so i just want to show you guys how i cut it so these things are like my hands are so small for this handle but you just want to take your time and cut through the towel Take your time, don't rush. And 
And then I am going to peel off the back paper. And basically, this is the side that I cut. So this is the side that I'm gonna put against the wall. So that way, the side that is super straight lines up way better on the floor. So I'm just gonna slide that in. And boom, you see how now she's perfectly fitting in. And also, you might wanna get a hammer because sometimes you do have to kind of bang the towels down to fit into the cracks but i've just been using the back of these scissors okay so like right here it's like a little gap so i'm just hammering that down in place it you do want to be careful because you could like um split the towel but Nice and perfect. And boom. So I'm going to finish cutting and placing the rest of these tiles. And then I'll show you guys my final. Well, I'm going to show you half the room because I have a bunch of junk over there. So I'm not going to show you that. But yeah, I'm about to finish cutting and placing these tiles while I play my music. Okay, because you know YouTube be trying to flag when you play your music. And then I'll be back and show you. Okay, y'all. And this is the final look of the floors i am loving it. it looks way better than that fucking carpet this little area right here gave me you know the most but i got it done and that is it thank you guys for watching see you on my next video